Welcome to this training module about your teams. I'm Paolo Pialorsi from PSC.com and I'm going to explain you how you can use the your teams generator to create a teams tab. So let me switch uh, to the common prompt and let me start the your teams uh, generator. The uh, generator will prompt you with uh, a sequence of questions. First of all, you will have to provide the name of your solution. You will have to choose if you want to use the current folder or another folder. You will have to provide a name uh, for your project uh, and the name of the company or of the order of your project. You will have to select the version of the manifest uh, for the Teams uh, extensions that you are going to build uh, and 1.5 is a good one right now. And if you are a partner, you can provide the partner ID for your solution. Now, I want to create a team tab, so I will select the default option, a tab, but you can eventually select uh, any of the other options too, if you like. And I will simply confirm the auto-generated URL for my uh, Teams tab uh, solution. Then I have to make a choice if I want to use uh, a testing framework or not. And for the sake of simplicity, I will say no, as well as I will not enable telemetry. And I will simply provide a default name for my tab. So for example, your Teams uh, tab will be my tab name. It will be a configurable team tab which will be inserted in a team. And I don't want to enable single sign-on again for the sake of simplicity, as well as I don't want to be able to host the solution in SharePoint Online. Now the scaffolding process is running. It will take a while, and then we will have our scaffolded solution. And here we are. The solution is ready, so we can just run Visual Studio Code by uh, writing code dot, and we will access uh, the scaffolded solution. Here, there are a bunch of files auto-generated for you. What is really important right now to have an overview of building a, a Teams tab with the Yeoman Generator for Teams is that if you go under the SRC folder in the Scripts folder, you will find a folder for your Teams tab. And in there, you will find three React components where the main one is the yo-teams-tab.tsx, which is the auto-generated one for my tab. And it is a React component which extends the Teams base component uh, provided out of the box. And in your custom component, you will simply do the actual rendering of uh, your solution as like as you do in any React component. So in the render method, you implement the UI logic of your solution. So before digging into the code, let me start the solution. Let me show you how you can run and debug it in Teams using Visual Studio Code. You can simply say gulp and grok serve and this will start a local server on your machine, which will be available with a public address uh, thanks to the ngrok service. And you will be able to use this solution as an extensibility module for Microsoft Teams. So now if I switch to Microsoft Teams, uh, which I'm running right now in my browser, and if I go to the uh, Manage Teams section under the Apps uh, section and I upload a custom app, uh, I will be able to see that in the folder in which I created and I scaffolded my solution, I have a package subfolder where I can find a zip file which represents my solution. I can add this solution to my current team. And as soon as it will be done, I can simply go to the general channel, for example, and I can add a new tab. The new tab will be based on the Yo Teams tutorial module 04, which is the name of the solution I just created. I will provide eventually a custom configuration like uh, my custom configuration here for the Teams tab. And by clicking on the Save button, my custom tab will be rendered and uh, included in my channel. As you can see, the configuration that I provided is available right here in the uh, Teams tab. Now, if I go back to Visual Studio Code, just to give you the idea of what we are doing, here in the component will mount of my React component, I already get the entity ID, which is the configuration setting for my team tab. I can eventually extend the state of my component so that I can, for example, keep track of the UPN of the currently connected user. And as such, I will be able to say that in the state of my component, I want to add the UPN value, reading that value from the context of the team tab in which I am. And as you can see, I have a bunch of properties available, including the UPN of the user. By doing that, I can then say in my render method that this is the uh, configuration settings and I can say that this is running for and I can provide the UPN of the user which is consuming my Teams tab. I simply save 
the uh, source code of my React component. It will uh, uh, update the uh, component and the uh, web server running on my uh, local machine. And as soon as it will be ready, I will be able to refresh my team tab in Teams. Let's do that, Control F5. And you will see that now my team tab is running for the user that I am right now. So you really have a simple way of uh, easily creating uh, a team solution, which can be a team stub. You can run it in Visual Studio Code. You can do uh, debugging and updates on the fly simply using React, TypeScript, and Visual Studio Code thanks to the Yeoman generator for Teams.